Hey everybody, let's take a look at some substitution, which happens to be advanced. So we're going to call it advanced substitution. Okay. Look at this problem on the, on the uh, overhead here. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's say they say A is 3, B is 2A, and C is 3B minus 1, and find C. Well, you're just going to do a couple of substitutions and just keep going until you're done finding C. So for example, if you say A is 3, that tells you that B is equal to 2 times 3, or 6, right? That's B is 6. So they tell you C is 3B minus 1, then all you're going to need to go is, okay, three, C is 3B minus 1, which is 18 minus 1, or 17. There you go. That is essentially this lesson. That's all we're doing. Now, if you remember uh, those uh, uh, problems where you have you know, rate and time and distance and all those things, we're going to look at those today. So go ahead and write this, this down as an example. So take a second here and copy this down and pause it if you need to. Okay. Uh, they say find the values of all four variables in this system. Well, let's take a look at the variables. We have four variables, r sub w, t sub w, r sub b, and t sub b. That's it. And if this were some kind of a uh, rate and distance and whatever you know, problem, it would be maybe the rate of the wagon, the time of the wagon equals six. Now don't forget, what does rate times time equal? Distance, right? So that's the distance, okay? So let's say the wagon, uh, you pull the wagon six miles. Okay, and let's say the bicycle, the rate of the bicycle times the time of the bicycle, which is again distance, you went six miles on your bicycle. And then this means the rate of the bicycle is three times the rate of the wagon. I guess that makes sense, all right? Then they say the time of the bicycle is two minus the time of the wagon, all right? So they want you just to go ahead and find everything in here. Find how fast the wagon was, uh, how fast the, uh, you know, the bicycle was, everything like that. So find them all. Well, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the last slide, which is just substitute. So all you need to do is pick something and sub just get started. If it doesn't work, something will happen. Okay. For example, um, you could go, okay, I have this one. This is going to be six. That'll be six. Oh, there's one I can maybe mess with. Let's just try to do this one. The rate of the wagon. Do I have anything for rate of the wagon, time of the wagon? Hmm. Not really, it doesn't look good. Let's try, look, oh, look at this one. I have the rate of the bicycle, and I have over here, there's the rate of the bicycle, that's three, three times r sub w. So let's just do it, okay? The rate of the bicycle is three times the rate of the wagon, okay? Now let's find, oh, can I do this? The time of the bicycle, oh, look, that equals two minus t sub w. So let's put that in here. So we got the time of the bicycle, which is there, equals two minus the time of the wagon, and that all equals 6. Let's just keep going here. So we have 3 times the rate of the wagon times 2. That gives us 6 rate of the wagon minus, okay, it's going to be 3 times 1. It'll be 3. Then RW times T sub W. Okay, so R sub W, T sub W, that equals 6. And you sit there and you go, oh, wait a minute. I can't do anything with that. I mean, I, there's one variable. There's a that's the same variable. There's a different variable. I can't, I can't even solve this. How is this impossible? And then you look up and you go, wait a minute. Look at this right here. Can you, do you see that in the list of red equations? Okay, it's the very first one, right? You see it? So the rate of the wagon times the time of the wagon is 6. So what you can do is you can go 6 times the rate of the wagon minus 3 times, not that, but 6. I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and write 18 because I know 3 times 6 is 18. And there's my equation. Now I've got it. So 6 times the rate of the wagon is 6 plus 18, which is 24. So the rate of the wagon is 4. The wagon is going 4 miles an hour, we'll say. All right? So now we can figure this out, right? Everything. So the rate of the wagon, well, look at this. The rate of the bicycle is 3 times the rate of the wagon. So the rate of the bicycle has to be 12, all right? Then we have all this stuff. Well, let's use this one, all right? I'll make it nice and thick here, okay? The rate of the bicycle, which is 12, times the time of the bicycle is six. Well, 12 times what gives you six? Of course, the answer is, you know, one half. So the bicycle was ridden for half an hour, all right? 
So you can go, okay, now we can figure out uh, this, all kinds of stuff. Okay, we can go, you know, in fact, we could, what are we missing? Ray the bicycle, ray the, now we need time of the wagon. Okay, so here's the time of the wagon. Actually, you can use this one if you want to as well. How about that one? So the ray of the wagon we know is four. So four times the time of the wagon is six. Just divide by four, and that'll be the time of the wagon is six divided by four, or three divided by two, or one and a half, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. And again, all you did is just treat this like a normal, oh, start substituting, just try something. The first thing you do might not work. If it doesn't work, try something else. Eventually, you'll get to something like this. Well, you're, you're gonna go, well, I didn't really knock this down to one variable, I can't solve this. Then you're gonna look up and go, oh, wait a minute, they give me the value of this, I found, oh, now I can do it. Okay, let's try another one. Take a second and copy this down. Pause if you need to. All right, this one is, again, the rate of a, I can't think of any, I don't know, Pont, Pontiac? I don't know, one that's good enough. Time to time of the Pontiac is that. So the distance is 693 miles. And this will be a, no, that's a Prius, okay. This will be a Chevy. So the Chevy goes 165 miles. The rate of the Prius is three times as fast as the rate of the Chevy, fast Prius. The time of the Prius plus the time of the Chevy is 12. Okay, so we can just start piddling here. Let's do it, all right? We'll try this, all right? We got rate of the Prius. Can I find it over here? Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, so that's gonna be three times the rate of the Chevy. Uh, time of the Prius, oh, that's a mess. That's no good, can't do that. That's sick. That doesn't help me at all. No, that won't do. Okay, let's try this one. Um, the rate of the... Well, you know what? Let's try this again. The rate of the Prius is three times the rate of the Chevy. Let's try it again. Three times the rate of the Chevy. Times the time of the... The time of the Prius? Ah, it doesn't work. It doesn't go together. But, if you notice, the time of the Prius, what else does that line say about the time of the Prius? This here. Can we get the time of the Prius by itself and stick it in there? And the answer is yes, we can. We can go, oh, the time of the Prius, that's the same thing as 12 minus the time of the Chevy. So instead of writing T sub P here, we can go, heck with that, I'm putting 12 minus the time of the Chevy. That equals 693. Okay, well, let's just do it. 3 rate of uh, Chevy times 12 is 36 R sub C minus R sub C times T, oh, excuse me, 3 R sub C T sub C. So that times that. That equals 693. And you again might think, well, what does that help me? I got these two different variables, but uh oh, look at that. We got it. Because this right here is this right there. So now we can, instead of writing R sub C, T sub C, we just write 165. So here's our new equation. 36 times the rate of the Chevy minus three times 165 equals 693. So 36 R sub C minus, and if you do the arithmetic out here, it'll be 495 equals 693. All right. Do your calculator if you want to. Of course, this, these are perfect for calculators because they have a lot of big numbers here. All right, so 495 plus 693 is 1188. And if you divide that by 36, you will find that the rate of the Chevy is 33 inches per hour. I'm just kidding. Okay. That's the rate of the Chevy. Now we find everything. Okay, now we can find this probably most easily right here. All right, the rate of the Prius is gonna be three times the rate of the Chevy. Well, that means the rate of the Prius is 33 times three. There we go. Uh, now we can find, you know, uh, the time of the Prius or the time of the Chevy, whichever one you guys want. Well, let's just do the left one first. The rate of the Prius is 99, so we can go 99 times the time of the Prius is 693. And just divide both sides by 99. You can probably see that's about 700, that's about, that's about 100. And this will be seven. 
Since the time of the Prius is 7, that means that the time of the Chevy has to be 12 minus 7, or 5. And there we go. So keep piddling on, the, on these. These, are, these can be, I don't want to say frustrating, but you, you'll do some work and you go, man, I got nowhere. But then you look up and you go, oh, well, they said that would work. Oh, that would work. And then don't forget to, you know, when you have something like this, anytime you get some kind of uh, little part of your equation that has a rate and a time mashed together, that is a dead giveaway that it's going to be one of the ones up top. You can stop and look up and there it'll be, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Try the practice problem, pause it, and see what you get. Okay. Well, I guess we're dealing with uh, Priuses and Chevys again, so let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and tr we're just going to try the first one. R sub P tells us it's 3 R sub C. Okay, the time of the Prius, uh, we don't have anything for that, but if we want to go ahead over here, we can go, oh, the time of the Prius is equal to 12 minus the time of the Chevy. That is what we're going to use. That's what we're going to do. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. 12 minus the time of the Chevy, and that equals 288. Okay, doing the math, 36 R sub C minus 3 T sub C. Oh, excuse me. That should be, how funny. That's going to be 3 R sub C T sub C equals 288. Okay. So here we go. That is what we're... We find we got, oh, that's a, that's a distance right there. So let's go ahead and replace that since it's sitting right here. All right, so let's rewrite 36 times the rate of Chevy minus three times 108 equals 288. There we go. All right, so 36 R sub C minus 324 equals 288. 36 R sub C. And moving that on over, we're going to get, uh, what is that, Five, 612. Okay. So the rate of the Chevy is 30, that will be 17. Okay. So 17, we have R sub C now. All right. Now we can go, what? What a mess. This doesn't work out evenly. That irritates me. Anyway, we, let's go to this equation next because it has the rate of the Chevy and the time of the Chevy. So for heaven's sakes, so this is our equation, in other words, 17 T sub C is 108. Um, that, that does not go evenly, and that's annoying. So there's your time of the Chevy, 108 divided by 17. Good grief, that's terrible. Anyway, all right, so the rate of the, um, let's see, let's try uh, the rate of the Chevy. We've got the rate of this and the time of the Chevy, and we need the rate of the, Prius and the time of the Prius. So um, the rate of the Prius, we'll call this 3 times R sub C. So the rate of the Prius, we know from here, is going to be 17 times 3, right? So that'll be 51. At least that's easy. And oh, for heaven's sakes, we got another doozy here. What in the world? Okay. Well, I guess that's okay. Well, the time of the Chevy. <clears throat> is 108 over 17. So here, look, let's just rewrite this equation. The time of the Prius plus the time of the Chevy, ooh, a nice little 108 over 17 equals 12. What a mess. Okay. All right, well, I guess we have to multiply it by 12 here. So 17 times 12 is 204 over 17. So the time of the Prius is 204 minus 108. 96 over 17. Oh, that's a nice round number. Thanks, Saxon. Okay, anyway, if you can do that, you're, you'll be in good shape the rest of the year. So most of your answers shouldn't be that weird. So anyway, okay, you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time.